Welcome to this guide on how to create an alumni account in Pebblepad. I'm Robin Weeks, one of the members of the Glenside Education Innovation Team at UWE. This video is to guide you through the steps you need to take in order to create an alumni account. In this video, we will cover why you might need a Pebblepad alumni account, what you can do in your new Pebblepad account, how to create an account, how to access the workbook and assets you created while at UWE, and where to get help once you leave. As a student at UWE, you are provided with an institutional Pebblepad account for the duration of your studies. This account is linked to your UWE IT account. Once you graduate and your IT account is no longer active, you won't be able to log into Pebblepad. During your course, you will have spent some considerable time building up a portfolio of evidence to demonstrate specific skills and competencies and to record experiences within placement. This could be a really important resource for you when applying for jobs or demonstrating your CPD in the future. To keep access to your Pebblepad account and all the assets it contains, you will need to sign up to a free alumni account. You will have access to this personal account for free for as long as UWE continues to license Pebblepad and for an additional three years after that. Your professional development will continue throughout your career and you may need to evidence this for an employer. Reflection can also be a valuable skill to develop, so it's worth exploring how Pebblepad can help you once you have left UWE. If you choose to use Pebblepad beyond UE, then the main thing to note is that things like workbooks and portfolios are just a tiny part of what Pebblepad can do. There's a range of resources you have access to, however confident you feel with technology. If you're just looking for a space to write reflections, then Pebblepad has some pre-installed templates in the resource store. Just click on the type of reflection you'd like to do Fill in the sections and save. This is a useful place to start if you're looking for simple structured reflections. If you'd prefer to use something more broad then you can create your own personal blog where you can type in text and add content. You can also personalise this space with images and banners. If you want to get creative, then you can use a single page or a portfolio to showcase your work and to create an online CV. You may even choose Pebblepad to exhibit a personal hobby or interest. Whatever you choose, you can still add evidence, share your work with others and use the Pebble Pocket app. Let's start at the home page. To open your free Pebblepad account, go to the burger menu, then click on additional settings, then free alumni accounts. In the pop-up menu, you can then click continue or cancel. Click continue and you'll be taken to a new screen where you need to confirm the details for your personal account. Choose a username and check availability. As you already use Pebblepad, the form will be pre-populated with your name and UWE email address. Please use a personal email address instead of your university one, as you will lose access to this when you leave university. When you have completed all the fields, click to continue. The following screen has two optional questions that capture information about how and where Pebblepad is being used. You can choose whether or not to complete these by selecting from the drop down list. You will then need to indicate that you have read the linked terms and conditions in order to continue with the account creation process. Click continue and the next screen will summarise the details of your account and ask you to confirm that they are all correct. 
Once confirmed, a final screen will appear with all your account details and a link that you can use immediately to log into your account. These details will also be emailed to you. You will no longer be able to use the UE Pebble Pad login page the next time you log in. Instead, you will need to use the Pebble Pad personal login page. Just search PebblePad Personal Login on any search engine such as Google and this should take you to the appropriate page. It may be worth saving this page in your favourites. You are able to create an alumni account at any time. However, we strongly recommend you only create your account once you have completed your course at UWE but before your email access has expired. IT services at UWE can provide you more specific information about your UWE email access. When you log into your new personal account and open your assets, you will see an additional store on the top right hand side with your institution name on the tab. The assets you create in your new alumni account will appear under the Assets tab and existing assets that were created in your university account will appear under the Institutional tab. Your new assets and old institution assets can be viewed, shared, linked, published in exactly the same way. They're just located under different tabs. PebblePad have a range of information and help available on its website. If you're looking for guides, then you can visit the Learning Centre or PebblePad help pages. You can also access technical support from the PebblePad support team. This team is not part of UWE. However, if you open an alumni account, you will have access to them if you have any technical problems.